Steins Gate, a game where molestation comes up way more often than it should. What? Yes, that is my reaction to it as well. When else has it come up? There's the part with Luca. I guess I was trying to forget about that, yes. <laughs> there is no forgetting. Well, uh, speaking of Billy talking about molestation, I guess we're the bittersweet gamers. You're gonna have to own that one, bucko. Eh, I've owned so much else from the Discord. I'm Wee Squared. I guess I'm the opinionator. <laughs> I guess I'll start another sentence with I guess. Oh, I did too, cool. Now I'm just in a grumpy mood. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> Damon, I won't let you be grumpy. From episode 29, Meow You Too writes, The way you managed to bring up banana every single episode both makes my day and haunts my nightmares. It's something about the intonation. <laughs> banana! The secret is to bleat like a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> banana! Though thinking about it, I myself noticed I didn't banana last time. It's okay, Damon. You can't banana all the time. It'd drive you bananas. It's just, sometimes, Okarin will say a word, and it is very, very, very funny the way he says it. And something about banana grabbed a hold of my soul and then wrapped it up in a yellow peel. I was about to say, it's good to see that your joke has a peel. Someone likes it a whole bunch. That's it, that's all I got. Well, thank you, Meow You too. In order to continue to haunt your nightmares, I shall banana forthwith. That is what you wanted, right? <laughs> now back to molestation. Just what you've been waiting for, right? <laughs> no, 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 no! You can't accept his chuny when it serves your purposes. It's all or nothing. <laughs> Man, I was hoping he would go home. I want to know where he lives. Same here. Almost 100% of this game has taken place in one room. That may be realistic, but it's pretty odd. There's a reason sitcoms have multiple sets, guys. Of course it comes back to sitcoms. I gotta be me. Looks like that was enough to convince Kurisu. Finally, I have defeated her. She gives me a fine, fine gesture as she returns to the development room. Why are we talking about this? Because he wants another book upside the head. After an hour or so of focused work, I went out for groceries. While walking, I skim at channel on my phone. Titer hasn't shown up lately. I wonder if that is relevant. Hey! How long has it been since his last appearance? Come to think of it, I totally forgot about what he said last time, too. Which was, if you change the past again, let me know. I think about a week or so? He should at least be able to check to make sure Titer made posts that he still exists in this world line. Okarin did send him an email recently, didn't he? That's true, about Suzuha. So that means he has to have given his mail address out on Atchan. So yeah. Well, there you go. I've been reluctant to contact him ever since he called me the Messiah in his last email. That was about the same time he stopped posting. I wonder where Titer went. Maybe he's in some of this junk food. 
Of course, he's picking up pudding. Pudding. I need to contact him somehow, but... Just in, a mail arrives. No sender name. The address is one I've seen once before, like the Fahugwagats or whatever it was that it said. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. I pause and take a look around. Then I swallow my fear and open the mail. It does sort of show how much all of this has really gotten to Okarin and how much he's putting on airs. I wouldn't have phrased it that way, but yeah. Oh, God! What the hell? The doll's face. That, that looks you, like Christina. That's exactly what I was about to say. It's saying, stop or we're going to kill Kurisu. It feels as if a cold hand stroked my spine. This is bad. This is a threat. Is it from CERN? If they're sending a threat to me, what do they want me to do? Does CERN know what we've been doing? Should I report it to the police? Wait, I, I, I can't. I just deleted it. And in any case, a picture alone probably isn't enough to get the police involved. Still, maybe I should talk to someone. Whoa! But, but who? Take on me, take on me, take me on. I'll be gone in a day or two. But who? <laughs> Not the girls. I can't worry them with this. So maybe I should talk to the one who looks like the doll in the picture and be like, hey, someone might be trying to kill you. Look, I get that you don't want to worry anybody, but I'm looking for an excuse to stay on this screen as long as possible. <laughs> so I need to talk about this. <laughs> it does everyone around you a disservice if you hide all the threats. Yeah. You actually are straight up putting them in danger, much as you are repeatedly headbutting the cameraman. Bam, bam, <laughs> bam, 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 see? I didn't see it until you pointed it out. I'm the adult here, after all. I'm half a year older than everyone else, so I am in charge. What about Moeka? Is Moeka the one sending the threat? It's hard to say because we know so little about her, but she is incredibly suspicious. No, she may be a lab mem, but she has been acting weird lately. Even if I tell her about this, she won't be any use. Even though I know that Suzuha wants to take out Kurisu, or wants something, somebody wants to kill Kurisu, yeah. and Suzuha happened to appear right before her death in another world line, uh -huh. and we know they're enemies. Uh -huh. I, I don't think it's her, though. I don't think so, either. I think there's going to be something with her, but it not it's not this. Suzuha has her father to worry about, and besides, I haven't put together the same things that basically everyone else who has watched or played this game has. <laughs> I guess that leaves Daru, which makes no sense. I need to find out whether CERN has discovered our hacking. What would CERN do if they find out, I wonder? They wouldn't have us killed, would they? I'm gasping for air by the time I reach the lab. But when I tried to open the door, I found it inexplicably locked. I unlock it with a hidden key, step inside, and try to catch my breath. That's when I realize that something's wrong. Mayuri and Kurisu aren't here. Did they go home? No, their bags are still here. Don't tell me. Were they kidnapped? Who took them? The organization? CERN? And then I hear a noise. 
Is that the shower? Our bathroom is beyond the changing room. If this is another fake out, I swear to God. Because what we are all imagining is a head in the bathtub. Or something like that, yeah. Now I hear the sound of water running. I start imagining what horrors await me. Fresh blood mixing into the water and flowing down the drain. The corpses of two girls sprawled out naked on the tile. <sighs> and because he never says anything or tried to contact them, And because his first meeting with Makise involved him thinking she was dead and him basically groping her, almost, she's just going to take this as something similar. Oh, that's a good point! And he just said he deleted the photo. So he can't even show it as proof. Hence, not say anything to anybody or not talk to anybody. I know that he's trying to protect them, but... <laughs> and furthermore, he couldn't even enjoy the peeking. Damn it! Just a small misunderstanding and major fake out. Nothing's bursted. She can burst fake out. Game, you can only fake us out so many times before we stop expecting it. And then when it does happen, how are we supposed to react? Like, is that the point to fake us out so many times that we just assume it isn't going to happen and then that'll get us? The problem is, it's just been way too long. Every time that something serious happens, it's immediately pulled back. Immediately pulled back. All the tension is immediately dissipated. It's making it really hard to get into the game since the game doesn't have an atmosphere that it's trying to pull you into. Yeah. It's not like it's even pulling you into some sort of a wacky, happy atmosphere or a silly one either. It, it's not that I'm not interested, but if it keeps doing this, it's going to push my interest away. I mean, why the hell did they decide to take a shower together when they knew I was coming right back? It's like they wanted to be seen. It's their fault, not mine. You just get to sit in Seiza for five hours now. Good lord, man! <laughs> For people who don't know, that's the very Japanese style of sitting where you fold up your lower torso in such a way as to make you feel exquisite pain and to cut off all circulation to your lower torso until it turns black, withers, and falls off. <laughs> that is the scientific explanation of it. Very science. Anyway, how much longer are they going to shower? I gotta drain the lizard, and I can't wait much longer. <laughs> Looking at the clock, it's already been more than 15 minutes since I got back. Maybe I should just keep focusing on this so I can forget the other thing, which is how I always deal with my problems, by forgetting them. They were yelling at me a few minutes ago, but now I hear laughter and happy squeals coming from the shower room. Well, sounds like they're having a good time. Maybe they'll forget about this moment, too. <laughs> they get along almost like sisters. 
Wow, Chris Chan, you're so slim. But Mayuri, your breasts are so big, I'm jealous. <laughs> it's what he's thinking. They're checking each other out, aren't they? <laughs> I am now sad I was too distracted to get take advantage of the situation. Billy, did you begin the episode by saying, ah, uh, Steins Gate, the game about molestation, and then complained when molestation did not happen? Am I, in fact, accusing you of being a molesting perv successfully? You are even acting in that way? I've been accused of worse. What? <laughs> In my head, I guess I will enjoy this one after all. <laughs> Call up the memory of what I saw in the shower. おれだ。少し これは今まで味わった中でも最大級の攻撃力だ。無防備こそ最強の攻撃だと思い知らされたよ。奴らめ。いよいよ本気を出してきたと見える。実に消しから。Daru just smashes through the wall and is just like my gentleman perv powers uh, detected something. 少女たちを倒せ。だと。そんなことができるものか。なぜならば、奴らに操られているあの少女たちは俺の仲間であり、幼馴染みなのだから。どうしてもか。どうしても俺は彼女たちを倒さなければならないのか。だとしたら、俺は今回ばかりは。I'll tell you what, the tension has been decisively murdered. A body has been discovered! It's time for the class trial! That kinda is my point of view on this, yes? <laughs> I get slow pacing and a slow burn. I tend to like things that go slowly, but this is starting to make me lose patience. It's one thing to break up the tension after a tense moment, but this isn't necessarily breaking up the tension. It's completely negating all of it. Even if the only thing that were to actually happen is another scene like the one between Okabe and Kurisu at the laundromat, like, that would be great. <laughs> I need some air. Two days have passed. Kurisu and Mayuri haven't left the lab once. During that time, Daru and I have done our best to support Kurisu's work on the phone wave name subject to change. According to Daru, it should be easy to use the LHC to generate black holes for our use. The black holes form at the proton collision point, where the lifter is installed, and exist for only a few seconds before evaporating. Also, new piece of music, perhaps indicating a change of some sort. I don't want to say maybe molestation perving after Take On Me is the last of the tension bubbles improperly burst, but I probably shouldn't. Yeah, you should probably leave it alone. Probably should just avoid expectations. Mm -hmm. The gravity of the black hole compresses matter to infinite density. CERN uses the lifter at max capacity to keep the compression under control, but we're gonna dial it down a bit since we're trying to be secretive and all. This way, many black holes' infinite compression won't get too out of hand. Our plan is to send our memory data while they're active, compressing it to 36 bytes plus alpha, while CERN is active, right? When they're normally using it, I guess, to try and sneak it through. Yeah. If they have access to their files, then they should know when they plan to test it. 
Dot who's been coding the necessary program. As for me, I've been searching for R Lifter, the unknown device that pumps electrons into the phone wave name subject to change and keeps our black hole open. Unfortunately, I don't really have much scientific expertise, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Kurisu couldn't find anything that could serve as a lifter inside the microwave, because it's a microwave, <laughs> so it must be something on the outside. We're not sure what that could be, and so far we have no idea where to start looking. Yesterday, I consulted Daru about that threatening email. But Daru insisted there's no way CERN could have discovered his hacking yet. Of course, I had to make doubly sure we hadn't been tracked. His tests came back clean. I have no doubt that, from Dadu's perspective, that's true. But there's the question of why we have this one-way connection. If they've been expecting us, they've been expecting this. This isn't something clandestine. It's something that they were waiting for. Just because the rogue didn't find any traps doesn't mean he succeeded on his fine trap roll. I'm a nerd. Deal with it. Sound logic. But somehow, knowing that does not ease my anxiety. Oh, from Lukako. Have you gone to any festivals or fireworks shows this summer? Maybe you have plans to go with Mayuri-chan later? P.S. I did 22 practice swings with Sami Dare. You did? I... Okay! There, that was kind of up in the air as to if that was even still a thing or not. Hmm, I don't know Mayuri's plans, but I'm pretty sure she's busy preparing for a different sort of festival soon to take place in Ariake. You're going to be going yourself, right? <laughs> Have you been to any fireworks shows? Huh? What about that, Nukako? By the afternoon, Kurisu's time leap machine was nearing completion. However, the lifter issue remained. In other words, we have to cause the electrical discharge phenomenon. There's a risk involved. A risk called Mr. Brown. As we know, the discharge phenomenon causes the entire building to shake. Last time, Mr. Brown threatened to raise our rent if it happened again. Then we did it several more times and he didn't notice or say a word. Shh! Okarin, Ato wa makaseta. Follow, onegai. We'll remember your sacrifice. Tsumari. Tekichi ni norikomi shime. Worry not, my compatriots. I shall take charge of our destiny. あんたの犠牲があって初めてタイムリープ用電話レンジは完成するのよ。それにこれまでも店長のご機嫌取りに行ってたのはオカリンだったじゃん。if I do not return, completely destroy my hard drive so that no one will ever be able to see any of the information on it. <laughs> L. Psy. Kongru. I feel as though there's a disconnect between my expectations and Okarin's here. No, that never happens. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, she's got an excuse, but Daru? Well, technically speaking, the Phoenix does die, it just comes back. So saying you will not die is kind of not technically true. I'll stop now. As I pass through the lounge, Mayuri looks up from her costume to see me off. Mm -hmm. 
this looks like an excellent time to just check my email and, and put off going. Because I really don't want to go. When I listen to phantasm songs at times like these, I sink even deeper into the darkness, Nya. Join me, Yoma. What a weirdo. Why would I do any of this? <laughs> She's so strange, the way she talks. Hard at work, Suzuha. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. I raise my hand in response to Suzuha's greeting. Come to think of it, when I thought that we needed something to take the place of the lifter, I never considered the possibility that that something could be inside this workshop. An amalgamation of cathode ray tubes? Uh huh. I surmise that it would be external to the microwave, but I still assume that it would be in the lab somewhere. However, if you think vertically, the lab's development room and the brown tube workshop are right next to each other. In which case, could our something be a CRT? Oh, you mean like we mentioned in a previous episode? The 42-incher. Yeah. Huh. Oh. How'd you know that? Well, she probably heard them through the window. She hears everything through the window. Was it that you didn't want to have to kill Shina Mayuri, so you just left everybody alone? Was that your change of plans? No, I really don't suspect Suzuha for that. I still think there's a great chance she'll be the antagonist of the game, but I don't expect her to do that. Oh. まあね。創作は継続中。ふん。岡部林太郎って私と同い年なのにすごく年上って感じだな。なんかぐいぐい引っ張ってく力があるよね。That's because I'm just drawn this way. Sorry. Oh, is that the excuse? <laughs> I thought it was going to be the unmistakable air of maturity emanating outwards from his very soul. Oh, is that what that smell is? <laughs> That's the first time anyone other than myself has said that to me. It makes me kind of happy, really. <laughs> あ、当たり前だ。俺は。おお、今日も名のだからな。でもさ。This why can't she just say careful like a normal person? What a weirdo. The way she talks is so weird. Like she's not even from this time. Well, I was thinking more along the lines of Okarin calling other people weird. But <laughs> that too. There is that. Not that I am one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Perniciousness? Is she saying Kurisu is dangerous? There's something strange about the way Suzuha is talking. Maybe I should follow up on this instead of ignoring it. Ooh, something shiny! 
It's not just that perniciousness is an unusual word. I've never heard of it. That or I'm just forgetting it. Well, the point is, <laughs> she said a word that I've never heard. <laughs> zonchi suru. I'm like, zonchi? I have no idea of what that is. <laughs> and it's not the first time she's used some bizarre word. And then other characters talk about it, so I don't feel bad not understanding what they're saying. <laughs> There's something else, something about the way she's been talking or acting. Hmm. Hmm. Earlier, more than once, I'm sure, we've been concerned that that the reason that Suzuha was after Kurisu is because Kurisu would join Sir. If anyone here would do it, it's it would be Kurisu. And I cannot possibly imagine that a time traveler from the future who is not familiar with many things that we consider normal and who is looking for someone whose code name is Beryl Titer <laughs> is someone who is working for CERN. I can get behind that logic. Not just can, but you did. You already have. <laughs> this isn't the first time we've mentioned it. But the fact that she's open about it, hmm. Suzuha's eyes are hard, and her voice is as cold as ice. I can tell that she means every word she says. No, that's impossible. I doubt she is now, but even unrelated to this, it maybe wouldn't be unusual for them to scout her. It's possible one of the other people on her team is from CERN, maybe? CERN is our enemy. If Daru's hacking is discovered, I have no doubt they will do everything in their power to destroy us. How could Kurisu be connected to CERN? Again, my theory is that where we started was closer to where we ought to have been. Or at least a safer mm -hmm. sort of world line. Yeah. The first shift occurred after the death of Makise Kurisu. Not because of the death of Makise Kurisu. If that is true in every time that we are working our way down in terms of divergence, closer to zero, mm -hmm. where CERN rules the world. Which, we don't know for sure that zero is where CERN rules the world. Right, right. I, I'm, I am operating on that assumption, but I'm upfront that that's an assumption. Okay? So if every time there's a world line shift, we get closer to that, then the place before any world line shifts was the one where Makise Kurisu had died. The safest possible place. Okay, I see what you're okay, saying. Yeah, I, that yeah. is. I'm almost positive in in asserting that. Suzuha nods firmly. Again, Suzuha's words sound strange to my ears. Why is she talking like that? She shouldn't be talking like that. Only we should be talking like that. I should blow her off. But I can't quite put my finger on what's strange about her or the way she talks. Ah, it's like it's... it's like it's staring me in the face with a disapproving look on its face. One of the first <laughs> freaking things she did was say, hey, the IBM 5100 has a special function that allows you to read this particular rare language. Oh my God. And you just were like, yeah, I already know that. And here she's saying, Makise Kurisu is the one who took credit for creating the time machine. Put two and two together! I don't believe it. I saw Kurisu's anger when she learned what CERN had been doing. She called their actions a betrayal of scientists everywhere. Then there's also 
what I was saying about her father and her relationship to her father. Yeah. That she's more interested in proving that he was right. Yeah. Than she wants to let on. One clue that she is likely to believe something that is absolutely the opposite of the way that she acts or says she believes is that she's an act channeler. That's true. But she just insists, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, don't tell anybody. I hate time travel, I hate time travel, I hate time travel, I hate time travel. Look at all this knowledge I have on it. But I don't. But don't tell anybody. How can someone with such a pure love of science be connected to CERN? Yes, who would have thought that a scientist would join CERN? Kudisu can't be a spy. Perhaps this is some sort of womanly squabble. If so, it's none of my business. And she just thinks, how can he be so oblivious when I try to have a serious discussion with him? Mr. Brown no meo. Gobio de Ikara Hikitskete Oite Moraitainada. Does she need like a neon sign or something or to paint it on her forehead? Iro Jikake da me. She flexes her bicep <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> but that's because she's a soldier. Yeah. She is a true warrior. Sawatimi? <laughs> She's probably stronger than you, yo. That's what I said, yes. She's probably stronger than me. But I don't understand what flexing has to do with seduction. Maybe it's relevant for Mr. Brown. Molester, I am not going to think about that. <laughs> what I am going to think about is that she's doing it as an expression of her power and seriousness. Oi. Come on! Get with the program, Okabe Rintaro! ダメも色仕掛けをしろとは言っていない。お前がやりたいというならかまわんが。それぐらいできなきゃ戦士失格だし。それにさ、父さんのことを一緒に探すって言ってくれたでしょ。だから私もできるだけ君に協力したい。な
What is going on? Is she tickling him or something? Oi, Krokabe! You rust not the Nando Terwaganda! Waga in Musmetaronga or a Yosha Snezo! Yachin each my in Apuda! Matikasai, Mr. Brown! Korea Waga Rabo Shivata Devanaku! It's Shinda! Or no Wagan, leading Gusai Nagaso Yotio! Shinda? <laughs> Crap! I, 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 I can't talk my way out of this one! Oh, nice there too. He should be lucky that he hasn't already been stricken dead. At that moment, the tremor causes a screwdriver to fall onto the remote control switch. The image that was displayed on the CRTV clicks off. The 42-inch one, 30%. Oh. <sighs> That's why it's only active at certain parts of the day. If the TV's turned off, it ain't gonna work. Oh. Oh? They can't use it while the TV is off, you say? Damon, open the tips. Future gadget number one. A ray gun with the TV remote jammed inside. Chekhov's toy ray gun? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Though I have to say... Yeah? To turn the TV on, you must manually flip the switch on the TV. I'm sure they can up upgrade the bit particle gun. Come on. What, to the funnel particle gun? Yes, of course. Don't let facts harsh my buzz, man. Wait. It's... Over? When the screwdriver that was stuck to the ceiling via chewing gum from that one time that Mr. Brown fired a wad of chewing gum at a bug <laughs> with a slingshot and stuck it to the ceiling and then thought he should clean it so he took a screwdriver that he was using for juggling practice and flung it up and embedded it in the ceiling into the gum and then it stuck and he forgot about it? Don't that make up backstories for it. So that's the screwdriver that fell onto the remote. Yes, of course. Excellent. You just accepted my backstory. What, what's he gonna do? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Be murdered by Mr. Brown in about two seconds. <laughs> yes, the man is scary, Nai. The man is very scary. We mentioned it a bunch two episodes ago. We have to understand, Damon. Okarim has the attention span of a mosquito. Something for him to chuny on appears, and he must go and chuny upon it. The way that we talked about it was metafiction. Mm -hmm. As in, there has to be some significance to this being here, so what could that significance be? Assuming the premise and working back from that. Yeah, yeah. Which only works in fiction. Which is handy. Well, with fiction, yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<笑>岡部何笑ってやがるうちの娘を怖がらせるなこれとブラウン管の弁償と家賃値上げだからなおい Remember me fondly, everyone. The next time you think of your dear departed commander, Ho Ing Kyoma, make sure to laugh in his honor. It's what he would have wanted. Mr. Brown, <laughs> wow, this is really a significant moment for him. He spoke back against Mr. Brown. <laughs> <laughs> One to the face. Stars explode behind my eyes as Mr. Brown drives his fist into the top of my head. Oh, thank God. Rather than belt me one, he's just giving me an atomic noogie. <laughs> the world spins. I struggle to get a hold of my shaken brain. My sight fills with countless stars. Oh, I can reach out and touch them. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop, man. Uh? I love how when Tennoji Yugo talks to Okarin, <laughs> he talks like a gangster. Yeah, like the ones that normally like roll their R's on a lot of the things they say. Oh, yeah, and he's really vulgar and has that ah! thing going. <laughs> This was her first reaction when I told her. Of course, thanks to the vagaries of Japanese, she wasn't actually solely blaming me, and it could be taken as how could we miss something so obvious? Thank you very much, because it's certainly not my fault. <laughs> Sounds to me like she's blaming herself, not me. Nobody's blaming me, because it's not my fault. Who would have known that the 42 inch CRT TV downstairs may be acting as the lifter? Why? It's not my fault! You can't blame me! You're right! <laughs> ガチ。整理すると the weird part was that when he turned it on, it started shaking again. Like, what does that mean? I guess the phone wave was still running? Yeah. Seems to me that there ought to be some kind of implications to that, but anyway. <laughs> Poor Mayushi. Nobody replies to Mayuri's off-point statement. I did. We're nobody replied. We're busy reading about cathode ray tubes on the internet. Very important business this time. <laughs> Banana. It doesn't take long before we find something interesting. Rice patties. Other than the rice patty show Mr. Brown was watching on the Rice Patty <laughs> Channel. Local agriculture channel. Diseased swamps. That's, that's all I think of when I think about rice patties. <laughs> a cathode ray tube has a component called an electron gun. What? Which uses extreme heat and a strong electric field to accelerate electrons and turn them into a beam. I'm going to assume electric field is an area where electric force has influence. 
For example, rubbing a balloon and putting it close to your head makes your hair rise due to the influence of the resulting static electric field. You want to know what? That doesn't work on me. That's because you're bald, though. <laughs> you didn't have to point it out. The electron beam striking the TV screen's phosphor layer is what generates the picture. And thus, CERN did purchase a 42-inch CRT TV. An electron gun could certainly work as a lifter. Plus, it's called electron gun, and that's cool enough. It sounds pretty excellent. Or at the very least, like it's from a Super Sentai show. <laughs> And all it has to be is nearby and on? I guess we can't, like, carry it around to find out the range, but why? Does a CRT TV just, like, emanate electrons from it at all time? I guess? The Brown Tube Workshop doesn't have especially strict business hours. Or business. But it's usually open from around 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. That matches up perfectly with my observation that the phone wave name subject to change only works between noon and 7 p.m. The few instances it hasn't worked during that time frame can be explained by the TV being off, apparently. Yeah, that's the question we need to know the answer to. Maybe it's only the jumbo model used in... The, 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 ah! I hit the button. I see. Maybe it's only the jumbo model used in the 42-incher. I guess? Those were the last CRT TVs produced. Hmm. In other words, it's just a coincidence that it's the right level of power. Right frequency, maybe? I see. So it can't be too strong or too weak. Again, it seems manufactured to me, but maybe that's just me. No, I think manufactured to me too. You're not the only one. It's the choice of Steins Gate, am I right, buddy? Have some passion, man! No! Steins Gate is the choice! <笑>えっと、つまりね、スーパーで割れんじちゃんを完成させるためには、どうすればいいの? <笑> タイムリープは可能になるという回を導ける。と思う。リフターの代替装置が見つかった今、タイムリープマシンは99%出来上がってる。I'm interested in seeing this machine. Me too. このラボの夢でしょ？タイムマシンは。Getting kind of passionate here about something Maki say. Huh. Our dream. I've never really thought about it that way. この俺の夢を時空を意のままに操り、これまでの支配構造をぶち壊すこと。そしてそこに新たな混沌を岡部私は法王院じゃなくて岡部の意見が聞きたい。With a nod, I direct Kurisu to complete the machine. Um, you and Mayuri-chan don't go places together? 
You're both lab members, and I heard you were childhood friends, so I thought... I'm sorry if I misunderstood. P.S. I did 30 practice swings with Samidare. What's up with the extra practice swings with Samidare? More confidence? Yeah, maybe so. August 13th. Like flap? <laughs> I follow Mayuri's directions and spread the costume out by the sleeves. <clears throat> flap! No, no, that wasn't it. Let me try with a little more heart. You can do it. Flap! No, that sounded like I said foo flap. Uh... Maybe, maybe I should go for the, the bizarre choice. Flap! No, that's a Pokemon. It, this is too hard. The joke is dead, Damon. Let it rest. If looks could kill, I'd be a mass murderer. 